Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. It was 25 years ago today that something akin to a miracle happened in Berlin, Germany. An East German government official named Gunther Schabowski announced that permanent relocations could now be done through all the border checkpoints between East and West Berlin after 25 years of the city of Berlin being split in half by a wall. German citizens from both East and West gathered at the wall and piece by piece the Berlin Wall came indeed tumbling down. We're going to commemorate that historic edification right now with a pair of movies set in post-World War II Berlin. The first is a thriller from 1948 called Berlin Express, a movie which had the distinction of being the first Hollywood feature to be filmed in Germany after the war. And you're going to see eye-boggling shots of Berlin in ruins. Also the war ravaged Frankfurt, all of which gives this movie kind of a semi-documentary feel. The critic for Time magazine said, Berlin Express is really two movies, one which is about what we see in the background, the other about what's happening in the foreground. And it's true, in the foreground, you'll see a very first-rate cast headed by Merle Obron with three leading men, Robert Ryan, Charles Corvin, and Paul Lucas. Lucas is a doctor kidnapped by members of the Nazi underground. Meanwhile, three men, a Yank, a Brit, and a Russian, are on assignment to find Lucas and rout out the Nazis. Merle O'Bron once said it was impossible to imagine the devastation and the horrible conditions the German people were having to endure at that time. But she said, you know, we all hoped that now that the war was over, the healing process and rebuilding would begin. That's the principal reason Merle and the others wanted to do this movie, to show firsthand how devastating a war can be to the people caught right in the middle of it. So we're here to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall 25 years ago today, from 1948, directed by Jacques Deneur, we bring you Berlin Express.